I became a Christian when I was 25 years old. And at that point, I still saw that there was racism, but I realized that my God, my God was above any racism. And that whatever my God had for me, no one was gonna be able to hold me back. And it kind of liberated me, but at the same time, I still suppressed those past feelings. I saw the murders, I saw the killings. You heard about the killings because the killings had always gone on. But now in the last decade, we started to see them on film. We started to see exactly what it looked like. I started to see those things. And I just thought how horrible, how terrible this isn't right. But I continued to somehow suppress those feelings. When George Floyd was murdered and I saw the officer's knee on his neck and just waited for him to die and others supported him, something triggered all of those feelings since I was six years old. It triggered it and I became very emotional. And at that point, I realized that I can't suppress these feelings anymore. They're out. I need to speak up. I need to do something about it. Racism is always going to be here. It has always been here. There have been discrimination. I've been discriminated against, and so has others. You kind of work with that. But if someone's going to be able to just go out and kill with no repercussions, that's wrong. That's absolutely wrong. And I'm going to do everything in my power. I vow to try to help make it stop. I vow to educate myself on upcoming elections and candidates to help ensure um, real change within our communities while also using my platform to being a mentor and um, a voice for all of our student athletes, but specifically during this time, our, our black student athletes. I vow to step out of my comfort zone and use my voice. I vow to fight against racism and injustice in whatever forms they may take. I vow to fight against oppression, wherever it may be. And I vow to stand with the oppressed, wherever they are. I vow to raise my voice against racism and hold those accountable who use color as a way to judge. I vow to stand with, stand for, and be an ally to the black community in the fight against racism and systemic oppression in America. I vow to seek to understand the painful experiences of my black brothers and sisters. I vow to spread positivity and love and educate myself on anti-racism and allyship to dismantle the flawed constructs that have been holding this country back for centuries. I vow to speak up against any form of racism and discrimination. I vow to mourn with those who are hurting right now and crying out because of the current situation and because of so many that were not recorded and, and so many stories that were not told. Uh, I also vow to listen and to learn and to be better coming out of this painful situation. I vow to listen and to respond with empathy as I engage in conversations with my black coworkers, student athletes, and neighbors, and to find ways that I can be an ally as we continue to fight for justice and equality. I vow to remain aware and educated on acts of discrimination and injustice. I vow to love. Each and every morning when I wake up, I want to choose loving gratitude rather than hate, anger, or fear. I vow to fight injustice, to be an ally, and to fight for racial equality. I vow to listen and be part of the change. I vow to educate myself because I know that change starts with the woman in the mirror. I vow to have a strong voice and to take action when witnessing racism. I vow to educate myself to better understand injustices towards the black community. I vow to be an ally to my black coworkers, to give our student athletes a safe space so that they can thrive and be the best that they can be. I vow to keep the conversations on racism and social injustice going, um, even after protests have subsided um, and even after um, everything's happening, I promise to continue to listen and for our student athletes, our friends and our families and loved ones to be heard. So today I vow to stand up with my black brothers and sisters to fight against and stomp out racism. I vow to listen to, learn from, 
and amplify the voices of my black brothers and sisters. I vow to pray daily for the wisdom to think, act, and speak in love. I vow to learn, to listen, and to amplify black voices. I vow to use my voice to amplify the voices of our black student athletes, coaches, and staff to demand change. I vow to always listen and learn and do my part to end this cycle. I vow to love others like Jesus loves me. I vow to create a team culture that exemplifies both acceptance and diversity among our family of athletes and coaches. I vow to love, to support our student athletes, our staff. I vow to be positive, I vow to be kind, and I vow to educate myself. I vow to be part of this change that needs to happen. Um, I vow to be there for the black community. We feel for you, um, uh, enough is enough. I vow to stand united with my Pepperdine community in search of justice, equality, solutions, better understanding, and most of all, peace and love. I vow to grieve with black lives lost. I vow to understand what my black brothers and sisters have experienced and will continue to experience going forward. And I vow to love to create an environment around me that loves my black brothers and sisters well and to educate and help those around me that I have influence over to love black lives. I vow to empower our players and fellow staff members to stand up and speak up against racism. I vow to listen and I vow to learn. I vow to understand my brothers and sisters in this fight. And ultimately I vow to love. I vow to hold sacred and deeply respect every Pepperdine swimmer, student athlete, faculty and staff. I vow to demand a change to stop racial inequality within our country. I vow to stay woke and to advocate and fight for the policies for black lives. I vow to do my part to be an empathetic listener and to welcome constructive dialogue so that I can be an advocate for societal change on behalf of the black community. I vow to take a stand against racial discrimination alongside our student athletes, coaches, and staff. I will encourage our team to have open dialogue regarding racial beliefs, values, and behaviors that will lead to growth and love. Waves stand together, waves rise together. I vow to enthusiastically support our black student athletes and our black community and to fight for racial equality and against racial violence and injustice. I vow to do my part.